Welcome, welcome, welcome. The fresh air is overrated, the weekly source for anything gaming with wild map and curves. Again, and. Yo, what's going on? I am Wild Matt. Fresh Air is overrated, episode number 183. 183. Talk about a random number. And you will forget this one forever. Just like the other ones. Now ah, you know, there's some that stand out. 45.5 for some reason. Always stands out. One, 161, I want to say. Or 162. The one with wheat. Again, that one was a totally random number. So... Nothing correlates to the numbers here, ever. It just it just falls on, and then that's that's the way the cookie crumbles, as they would say in in the movie of some kind with Jim Carrey, perhaps. <laughs> okay, Wednesday, November twelfth, two thousand fourteen, Remembrance Day. Yesterday, uh, I would have a poppy, but I actually dropped it. But now, oh well. And the lagging for the live folks might be on my side. Who knows? Because my internet is pretty crappy here in Ottawa. But hey, it's nice. It's nice around here. Uh, while Matt, in case you don't know who I am, I am the host. No co-host. Ignore what that intro said. Because there's no co-host. As of yet. As of yet. But we'll see. All right. Megascorcher.com is where you can find all our shows, and we actually have a video game podcast if you want to go look back on any Fresh Air episode ever. They're all there, kind of. All the MP3s are there. Some might be missing video, and, uh, you know, I'm trying to find a place to put it all, but YouTube has a lot of takedowns from those videos because there's gameplay footage, I guess. And uh, I guess some people are claiming copyright on that, but hey. YouTube, it's a crazy place with all that copyright stuff. Uh, at Wild Matt is my Twitter handle, and at Megascorcher TV, uh, post everything about the blog, uh, the Twitch, and the YouTube. I think that's it. I think that's it. All right, let's go to new releases. Start off with this now. I'm gonna make it a habit. Assassin's Creed Unity for the PS4, Xbox One, and the PC. I hear that it doesn't run that great on the Xbox One and the PS4. And yes, TechCore says, I have a lot of hair. Yes, I know. I do have a lot of hair. On my face, too. I have hair. <laughs> so, Assassin's Creed Unity. Yeah. Uh, I guess the PC might be the road to go. I, I, I really like Far Cry 3 on the PC. So, hey. They might not have the screwed up Assassin's Creed on the PC. Who knows? Uh, Halo Master Chief Collection on the Xbox One. I also hear that that one is kind of messed up. So, I buy it. It's probably going to get fixed. But if you're, even the all the single player story stuff seems like some of it is broken. So, or just different than how it used to be. Which um, I don't know. I guess that's not the. I don't know. It depends how they changed it. If it's worse than if it's just broken, like a lot of people are saying. But it's a multiplayer. Oh man, the matchmaking seems like it was terrible. I don't know if it still is. I haven't really heard that it's improved, but apparently it's broken and uh, it's given people six on four matches and are not working at all most of the time. It's weird. So there you go. Halo Master Chief Collection. It comes with Halo 5, which is in our news later on. Uh, Tales of Hearts R for the Vita JRPG. I don't really know all that much except that about it. It's, you know, it's a Tales game in the long series of Tales games. All right. <laughs> Sonic Boom, ba based on that awesome cartoon that I haven't seen and probably will never watch. Uh, it's called The Shattered Crystal on the 3DS. And then the other one is called Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric on the Wii U. That's a Nintendo exclusive. I think it's because it's all published by Nintendo now. So, yay, Sonic games uh, exclusive on Nintendo consoles yay assassin's creed rogue uh, which is the new assassin's creed game for the last gen consoles ps3 and 360 that's good uh i, I actually like that ubisoft are doing that because now it's going to kind of separate the two games instead of just being the same game on both systems with just improved graphics like gta 4 or 5 sorry that game looks insane on the new systems so i can't wait for that hey 
Towner Jax in the chat room. What's up? Uh, Digimon All-Star Rumble for the PS3 and the Xbox 360. I hear that that is not very good. And that's the first Digimon game that's been out on uh, this side of the planet for a while. Anyways, so, hey, woo, Digimon. Uh, Minecraft for the Vita is out. That that might be a cool thing to play for like two seconds and then never play again. I don't know. I really liked Minecraft at first and thought I'm never going to go at it again like I did the first time. N first time's the best time. All right. Uh, Valkyria Chronicles for the PC. That's uh, the Sega port of their uh, JRPG. <laughs> Is it really a JRPG? I don't even know. It's an RPG. I, I know that much. Is there a J in front of that RPG, though? I don't know. I'll just assume yes, because it's it's Sega. Lego Batman 3. Beyond Gotham. That's on literally everything except Linux. I, I think it's on everything, though. You can get it on Mac, on the PC, on Xbox 360, the PS Vita, the 3DS, uh, I don't know, the Wii, the Wii U. I don't know if the Wii... Well, maybe the Wii, because it is on the 3, 360 and the PS3, but don't count on it. Don't count it on the Wii. But it is on the Wii U. But that's a Lego Batman. Of course, it's going to be on everything. Terraria is out on the PS4. That was out on the PS3, if I'm not mistaken. So there you go. Upgraded to PS4. I don't know if they changed all that much. They probably did. Like a Retro City Rampage DX. That's pretty much the same game with like the DLC, I think. Should look that up. But it's on the PS4, so it's stepping up in, in generation right there, too. Uh, Pro Evolution Soccer 2015 is out on the PS4 and the PS3. And uh, there's a Pokemon trading card game on the 3DS this week. Woo! Some Pokemon trading cards. Virtual! Uh, but in 3D. So, like, the cards are real, kind of. Alright. You know how it is. Except if you're under 6, don't do that, because your eyes are going to get screwed up, apparently. Or something like that. Alright. Oh, it's not news of the week. That's not... The games I'm playing this week, not much. I wish I had somebody that played newer games, but hey, when Far Cry 4 comes out, I'm getting it, and I'm probably gonna get GT 5. I, I'm gonna try to get both. Oh, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna split Call of Duty in half. Uh, somebody wants to just get it digitally with me and then we'll split it. So I'm cool with that. All right, Destiny is a game I've been playing just a few times this week. It's all right. I like playing the competitive multiplayer, and that's what I'm going to keep playing. I'm, I'm at level 19 now, and uh, I think the last time I played the story was at level 15 or 14, somewhere around, around that. So I've just been leveling through playing the competitive. That's all. It's a good time, though. It's a good time. All right. Mushroom Wars, that's something I play all the time on my iPhone. Uh, NHL 15, something else I play. I tried to... Uh, make it a habit it's cool to just play a game or two every day because it's pretty fast it's not like a huge time commitment you just go play nhl for a little bit and then uh that's it that's pretty much all i've been playing you know i i'm happy with that the, the thing about the ea games the ea sports games specifically is the goddamn menus they're terrible they suck okay they gotta change that stuff because it's so it's so bullshit. Why did, why did everything get harder all of a sudden? That's what I've been hearing about the Xbox One, is that the interface sucks. And it's just like, why? It was fine last generation. Why are we making it harder? The, like, the PS4... I, at least, like, you can find everything. It's alright, though. Well, I don't know. It's not like the PS3 was awesome either, so... I don't know which one I like better, to be honest. Uh, but something else this week that came out that got me excited was that Chappie is a movie that is coming out m in March of next year or something like that. And it's the next movie from Neil Blomkamp, which is the dude that made District 9. And also, what's that other Elysium. Elysium. And uh, I like those two movies. So, And uh, the main dude which is a robot in this case uh, that has AI and his voice is the main character from District 9. So he's he's in all his movies so far. So I'm cool with that because I like that dude. He's awesome. I think that he's pretty good in everything that he is in. Even A-Team. Like he was the best part of the A-Team. 
in that movie anyways all right so let's go on to the news of the week now there you go now i got the right music so halo 5 kind of got revealed this week uh in terms of footage and gameplay um it's called halo 5 guardians in case you didn't know so the beta is going to start on december 29th and there's gonna be three weeks uh and anybody who buys the Halo Chief, that, that Halo Master Chief collection, they will get to play this beta. It will run at 720p, 60 frames per second. So I guess they just they want to maintain the frameage on this one as opposed to running it at 1080p and then having a sucky frame rate. So, uh, But they, they did say that Halo 5 will run at 1080p, 60. But we'll see about that. I don't know. We'll see what how it goes. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a little bit less than that. Like they they have been doing with the last ones, but uh, I don't know Halo Four. I would be interested to playing that in the in that collection, seeing how it looks in 1080p. But this game looks really cool. A lot of people have been saying like, "Oh my God, it looks like Call of Duty," and it kind of does look like the movement of Call of Duty. But I do like all the things that they have been doing to the balancing to make it more fair. Like if you're sprinting, you can't. Uh, recharge your shield so if you're almost dead and you're sprinting you're almost better to just try to find a little spot where you're not going to get shot and then just stop sprinting you can still run but you can't sprint so that's how you regen your shield there and there's a bunch of other stuff i'm going to post something in the show notes on the website so if you go on episode 183 and go in the show notes they're going to be there and uh, it's a it's like a four minute video of stuff all halo 5 Three, there's three there's three maps one of them is from halo 2 i don't ever remember the names but it's the one with the sword on the balancing uh, bridge in the middle of the map it's like three tiers it's a it's an alien map but yeah i don't want the covenant i guess i guess I, that's another thing about halo like yeah they, i don't really know who's who like there's so many factions i don't really care i, I stopped caring about the story after two I get, ugh. and apparently that's when it got really good in halo so yeah, I don't know if I'll ever go back, but who knows. Uh, there was some new Mortal Kombat 10 or Mortal Kombat X footage out, and it looks pretty awesome. They showed Quan Chi's fatality at the end, and uh, it, it's pretty insane. He puts a blade through somebody's mouth, and then he makes the... And then he, like, you know, he has mind powers, and he can, like, shift things with his mind. and So he, he it's, it's, all, it's all mind control, so there's a knife that goes through the mouth, okay? And then it, he lifts the body through the knife. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's insane. And then there's a, another one that Scorpion had, which was also crazy. And uh, that one's also going to be in the show notes if you want to watch that. Um, Telltale's take on Game of Thrones is coming soon, apparently. So be on the lookout for that. I just noticed that my camera's been flickering the whole time. I don't know if I'm... I can fix it live, I guess. Why not? It's not very hard. There you go. Fixed. All right. <laughs> So, I don't know, Game of Thrones, uh, the TV show's driven me insane. And, and I, that's another thing, like Halo 3, that I don't know if I'm ever going to go back to, because it's burned to me so many times already. Kind of like Walking Dead, I'll, I'll also, mm, Walking Dead. <laughs> Alright, Just Cause 3, we've been talking about it for a very long time. The developer, Avalanche, has been teasing it for a very, very long time. I don't know. Like I remember talking about it on the show when we took the break, and that was like a year ago. So, yeah, they've been talking about it for a long time. But Square Enix, the publisher, has made it official, and now it's coming out next year. So, there you go. Yeah, Just Cause is a pretty good little thing. Like, the first one was alright. Like, the first one was just kind of lack lacking of a game. Like, like you could see that it was there. I really like parachuting and then cooking on stuff. And that's what the second one is. But th there's more of a game in the second one. The first one, I don't know. It just, it just, it was cool for the like that first thirty minutes where you were like, holy crap! And then they did the same thing in the second one. But man, that that second one, you could just do so much more. And uh, it was so much like tuned. And I can't wait to see what the third one's like on on next gen systems. We'll see, man. I can't. Yeah, all the physics-y stuff they can do in next gen. Oh man, maybe they won't be all ragdoll in all their place. We'll see. <laughs> all right. So Ubisoft over this past week has removed and re-added all their games on Steam. So that seems kind of weird. Um, 
and it, it's not back up on the UK store. So a uh, theory, I guess, is that, you know, it's all, this is all contract based. So maybe the, the contract expired and then they had to renegotiate really quick because a lot of people did already pre-buy all those uh, Ubisoft games that are coming out uh, really soon. Like Unity just came out and then uh, Far Cry 4, you might have heard of it. It's the fourth one in the long line of Far Cry games. I, I don't know. That's what I heard. But uh, yeah, they're, they're back up in the North American store. So we'll see uh, when they're back up in the UK. Uh, the makers of a Chinese Hearthstone clone, which if you don't know what Hearthstone is, Hearthstone is, uh, it's a Blizzard game where you uh, play with the the cards there. You know, trading card games, that the kind of kind of stuff. I, I like I, honestly, the only trading card game I remember playing was Pokemon. That was such a long time ago, that yeah, trading card games. I kind of flies over my head because I never really played any of them. There's like, I don't know, that was a, that was in a hair. Well, it was a hair, but it was like white. I don't know. I don't know. Cat hair? But where would it have came from? There's, I guess, I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> cat hairs get everywhere, even though there's no cats here. All right. Uh, so, <laughs> so yes, there's a Chinese developer that ripped off the game entirely, entirely down to the logo and everything is pretty much the same. Uh, it's called something else, but I don't know. Let's not even acknowledge it. It's a Chinese Hearthstone ripoff. So uh, Blizzard sued them for a while ago, and uh, it went through, and they got sentenced. All that that apparently, uh, according to Blizzard, that happened, and uh, they were ordered to pay 1.6 million. Or was, yeah, I guess so. I guess so. I, I copy pasted this. I did not write this. I thought it was billion originally. That would have been a lot of money. But uh, 1.6 million, I guess maybe that's all they had. It's like, damn. Okay, we're going to get out of here. Here you go. Take the money. <laughs> uh, the Spike VGAs, or the VGX as they were known last year, or maybe the past last two years, I don't remember. They're not happening on Spike this year. Uh, it's, hap it's being called the Game Awards, which is a Jeff Keighley joint. I don't know if it's being co-produced by game trailers, because if it is, then it, it still is technically kind of a spike joint i guess it's all it's all viacom right so but it's just being online this year being streamed so you can watch it on your ps4 they said the the xbox well all, all this stuff you can pretty much watch it on anything i guess maybe not the ps3 i don't know how that would work maybe not so i don't know how that's gonna work there's not much details but you can watch it on your computer i'm assuming or your phone or wherever I'm assuming it's gonna be maybe on twitch originally and then that's a, that's going to be the problem with the PS4. You can't just go find a channel and and watch it. So I guess I guess there's going to be a download in the store or something. It's like, hey, watch the VGAs or not the VGAs this year, the TGAs, the Game Awards. So um, as long as they have what I really care about, which hey, the awards are always nice, and if they do it better this year, that's 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 nice and. That's what you kind of hope from a stream, right? Is that it's going to focus maybe a little bit more on the actual awards and be like a little bit more prestigious, as you would say, I guess. But you still want those big reveals. That's what the Spike VGAs were about every year. I didn't care if it was hosted by Jack Black or whoever. I just, whatever. Just show me the stuff. Like the Phantom Pain, when they showed that, that was two three years ago and that was insane i still remember it I still remember it. i'm like holy crap that that it, it just made me think about metal gear that whole time and it was like phantom pain the and then it, it is metal gear that was awesome though so as long as they have stuff like that and keely has been teasing a lot of uh publishers and stuff that are uh, participating and developers so hey i'm all for it if he has the same caliber of reveals uh Blizzard this week announced a game called Overwatch. Uh, I don't know the Overwatch. I that's not a re very cool name, but the game kind of looks cool because it's kind of like a mixture of like TF2 with like Super Monday Night Combat with like League of Legends. Like I, 
the thing about calling it League of Legends and Super Monday Night Combat is I don't think that there's enemy AIs roaming around. I think that it is straight up just a shooter, and that's why I call it a little bit more like TF2, because that, that's what it kind of looks like. Uh, it's a cartoony shooter with like a lot of characters. So that's how it's kind of like League, because the character side, there's a lot of them, and I wouldn't be surprised if they even announce more. But I don't know. Maybe that was just the, the first intro trailer. So who knows what else is to that game. I haven't really seen all that much except for that opening trailer. I think it's like four or five minutes. It looks pretty cool. It shows off all the uh, characters and their powers. They all have three characters, uh, three characters, three powers to every character based on uh, the keys. I think they said Q, E, and R. So it's like right around W, A, S, D. So it's like, but bam, you got three moves with all those three keys. And uh, th yeah, and some of them look like they might be super powered compared to the other characters so uh, it'll be interesting to see but uh that's also in the show notes if you want to take a look at all that stuff uh hey blizzcon happened so more more news uh, heroes of the storm will have the lost vikings in it so i'm not gonna play heroes of the storm because i'm not a dota dude i just i, I don't i don't like dota and i, I don't like what a, a mobas i guess is what you would call it but i don't like rts is like all that stuff i would have liked it a while ago but i don't know i just don't have the patience for it anymore just don't have the patience. but it has the lost vikings in it and, and they looked pretty cool they were like the three characters were there and they played as one so you like cho chose the lost vikings uh, and they all control separately they all can do separate stuff and it, it's, it looks pretty cool so here's the storm check that out that's uh, blizzard's dota I, I believe or blizzard's moba uh tony hawk came out on twitter this week and he's like hey Tony Hawk's Pro Skater fans, you remember me? I'm Tony Hawk. Yeah. Woo. We remember you, Tony Hawk. Woo. So he was on Twitter saying that we should get excited because we're getting another game off the ground on consoles next year. Woo. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not holding my hopes very high, but who knows? It could be a very good skateboarding game. And, you know, I would play it if it uh, hits the spot. But man, that the Tony Hawk HD download of a few years back. Yeah, man, that game was terrible. I got it on sale, and uh, that game is terrible. All right, uh, Bloodborne, <coughs> which I think I think that's the game that's being developed by one of the main dudes behind um, Dark Souls. Yes, that's what it is. So it got delayed from February fifth to March twenty third. So there you go. They said like it's for making sure the best version of the game can come out. So, yeah, there you go. You would expect them to say that. And in our last news story of the week, Lego Jurassic Park is pretty much confirmed through Lego Batman 3. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it because if you're going to play it, there, I already kind of spoiled it. But there you go. Expect a Jurassic Park thing in there. And uh, that, that was already kind of known. So here's the thing. When somebody leaks a news story early, the worst thing you can do is send a cease and desist. Because I kind of get it. You want to be like, oh my god, they're, they're leaking this. we got to get behind it and stop it. But then the second that happens, it's like, well, we know. We know it's real now because you're acknowledging it. So if you want to call in, I am signed in via Skype right now. And it's Wild Matt. Wild Matt. W I L D M A T T. If you want to call in and talk about anything like Halo 5, or let's talk about Tony Hawk, because, oh, uh, Tony Hawk, he's so awesome. <laughs> I wonder how old he is now. He's got to be pretty old. He's stepping up in age there. Look, let's look at that up. Tony Hawk, he's got to be like 48. No, he's got to be older than that. Let's see. Not 46. I was close. I was close. I guess I would have heard about 50. I would have heard about a 50-year-old Tony Hawk. It's like, hey, Tony Hawk is 50. Everybody feel old now because Tony Hawk is 50. Yep, that's going to, four years, and we're all going to feel older. <laughs> it's going to happen. So if you don't want to call in, that's fine with me. I'm cool with calling the show there. Uh, almost 30 minutes. That's cool with me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back next week. Who knows? You might do some after show stuff if you're watching live. So stay tuned. I don't know. Might do something. I can't really play anything, is the thing. But hey, I could maybe play an NHL game. Who knows? We'll, we'll, we'll see. And we'll try it out. See you guys next week. Boo boo!